Hey, this is Blind Fox, and welcome at my Russian Review. Please support the channel, please subscribe, and please go and donate on Patreon.com. So today's ration we got from CT, Canadian trucker, and he sent me this as well, so... I actually like this, I must still find some way to put it, but... Nice little truck. Or nice little Canadian truck. So let's get started with the ration. Let this hang out there. So today we are going to do our first Canadian ration. As you can see, this is the um, paper um, sack. It looks... I think this is one of the coolest looking packing, ration packings, although it's not waterproof. This is just a cool looking packing. I mean, it looks just like your sort of a lunch bag. And it is still a very cool looking um, packing method. So, this is uh, spaghetti and meatballs. You can see the Canadian little maple leaf. A 2019 ration. Menu number 16. And this is for military use. And even here at the side, it looks like a paper bag. And at the bottom as well. They like us on Facebook, and there is that little thing. And this is everything on the outside. You can actually tear this open, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cut it. And I'm not going to use my... I'm going to use scissors for that. I don't know how far in you should cut it, but let's try there. Maybe not far enough. Oh, well, it is. Oh. So, let's see. And you can see there is slightly foil lined. And what do we have inside? We will start with this. Nescafe coffee. I think this is three in one. I am not sure. Maybe I should move this out of the way. And you can see there the boxes are on the outside with everything else inside. This is Nescafe Sweet and Creamy. Original. We've got a strawberry jam. Really difficult to read the strawberry up there, but this is strawberry jam. Teddy Hockey Jerky. And you can see there little is it oxygen absorber thing. This is really tightly packed. And we've got the pain hamburger. The hamburger bun. 75 gra oh, 57 grams. We've got two grape flavored drinks. Don't remember the, how much water to use here, but we will read. M&M's, my favorite American chocolate type. We actually do get them in South Africa too. We've got the uh, beverage bag, we've got some really uh, thick looking peanut butter, we've got um, what do you call these, Tic Tacs, oh the giant mint, that is not a mint, I really must grow this one, I tape, think I will tape this when it grows, a packet of white tipped matches, not sure if it's uh, wood or uh, cardboard. We've got our spaghetti with meatballs. Oh, yum, sliced peaches. Tabasco. We've got the Canadian spork. I must actually check this against the South African spork. See which one is the longest, but I think the Canadian one will win. And we've got this huge serviette, which is truly... Magnificently huge. So this is uh, everything in our meal. Okay, so this takes a cup of water. So we are going to do this. The coffee also do a cup. So this will go with the hamburger bun. 
I'm not going to use the beverage bag as such because I do have a cup but it's a nice strong uh, bag with all of the little stuff so we're not going to use the matches I might don't know if I'm going to use the Tabasco since I don't do a hot stuff all that much but we'll put you there with the truck so the box is sort of uh, closed so this is a number of 18264 which is 2000 and was back 2018 the 264th day I know people talk about oh there's uh, two 10 notches talk about that this is in a, in a bag so you must eat it but the only reason I think it's in the bag is a retort pouch so that it will fit nicely into the um, package and you can fit this there in the box and it will stiffen up the package oh there it says dessert I'm not gonna heat this up obviously we're gonna put this in something and heat We'll eat it. This is a larger box. The ingredients and stuff are there. Let's see. Maybe you can read this. I'm not going to read it all. I don't know if it will work. I can't zoom in any server. I don't know. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. But anyway, there it is. So this was back, um, it's got a code of 19050, so the 50th day of 2019. And on the other side, I just saw this. The heating instructions. And you can feel the little meatballs in there, there's a 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, maybe seven or eight meatballs in there. And again, two day notches. So I'll heat this up in hot water since I don't have an extra spare Russian heater. Before we do anything else, let's compare the spoons here. We've got the British, the Canadian and the South African one. So you can see in bigness, the British and the South African one. For well, the spoon bigness, almost the same. Lengths. Canadian and the South African is almost the same. Pretty a bit shorter. But they are all massive spokes. The Canadian one is almost small and dainty com compared to this big thing. So let's see the coffee and creamer thing. Just a normal coffee creamer sugar mix. Smells almost like the coffee crisp. All right, so we can see there your drink has got a tea notch and it um, does tea easily. Smells like artificial grape and the inside looks like artificial grape. So we will go and mix all of this. I'm gonna only mix one or we'll mix one now. So we'll mix the other one later. See you then. This like the hamburger buns actually smells like yeast or yeast, whatever we call it. You can see there foil lined. Okay, well we wait for our food to be ready. The hamburger bun and it's sort of cut open. It looks like a very flat Pac-Man and we'll just open it all the way. I must say I had worse hamburger buns in our shops. This is a bit uh, maybe if you heat it up it will be a bit better, but um. As it is for what it is, it's not bad. I wasn't going to heat it up, but you can just heat the hamburger bun a bit. I would say that would be big, best, just to soften the crumbs a bit. But it's it's not bad. As I said, I had worse for a. Uh, uh, um, I really like this in that um, U.S. ration with the the, the 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 patty in it. This it would be great there. So we will open, what is this, the peanut butter first? Yep, this is the peanut butter, we will open that first. A bit dry, but at least it is not too um, oily. I hate too oily. You can work with too dry peanut butter, you can always, you can add the, the jelly on it. Or the jam, or whatever. 
I'll just take out the jam and then I'll just stop the video to spread the, the stuff on the bun. This is not too um, runny as well, which is also good for a ration. You don't want stuff to run everywhere. A nice um, fruity jam. It tastes the strawberries, but I'll just pause here and put everything on my bun. I'm not going to use half a bun in the past. I'm going to make a little sandwich. I've reconsidered. I'm not going to. So let's start with this. We will start with our uh, grape drink. This uh, smells and tastes artificial, but not a bad artificial grape taste. Bit sweet, but you do get a very nice tartness. I'll just finish it. Most likely I must go and check on my food, but I will do so. Next we will, hmm, I think we will do our jerky. Very, very uh, thick block of it. It's sort of pieces, but it's stick together. So let's take a bite. There's two little pieces. Nice, very sweet. Get sort of a sweet taste. I think this is it's the, whatever the flavor is of this. It's sort of sticky. Um, I'm used to biltong, which can be very hot, very dry. This is sort of intermediate for me, because it's still, although it's dry, it's not too dry, it's not also not too soft. I have no problem eating this. We will do ah, our hamburger bun next, or the half of it. You can see there, nicely loaded. Yeah, well, I'm going to finish this. So it doesn't take extra place on my um, plate. If you just use the peanut butter on here, this might be too dry. But the, the jam, just add enough moisture to make this not be dry. And it's still uh, thick enough that it doesn't run everywhere. You get the, the bread taste, you get the, the peanut butter taste, and then you get the sweetness of the jam. Delish, and we will end off with our coffee. So, our coffee. Now, the coffee for me is the only thing that I might have a problem in this with this ration so far. I don't like really sugar or milk in my coffee. So, this is very sweet comparing coffees. But you do get the nice, strong coffee coffee undertaste as well. For people that do drink sugar in their coffee this would be fine. As I said for me it's a bit sweet but it's still a good cup of coffee. I must say I think the South African coffees are sweeter than I had. This still is not that sweet but and you do get the nice coffee taste. So we will end up our little plate here with some lemon M's. And can I see? Oh, I've got a W. So this is just your normal W's and M's. So let's taste. It just tastes like normal M and M's. I'm not sure if the chocolate is different from the ones we get. But this is just normal M and M's. So we will uh, move some stuff about here. There we go, we've got our meatballs and spaghetti of spaghetti and meatballs. As I say, about six, seven or eight meatballs in there. Quite large meatballs. I think this is half, half a one because uh, someone tasted already. Don't tell who. It's taste there. Let's look at the meatball. Sort of processed meat. You got that... Um, Processed meaty taste if you just do the meat itself. So the spaghetti very soft. Um, you get the tomato we taste. Very similar to our meatballs. Might be a bit sort of of a bite afterwards. But there's a lot of little meatballs. So you get quite a lot of. And there's not too much spaghetti. So you get a lot of meatballs with your spaghetti. You do get a um, tomato we taste. Now I am not. We're going to add the Tabasco here, because, well, if you like hot stuff, you might want to add it there, but I am not going to. What I will do is uh, do a meatball on the bread. I'm just not going to show you when I do it. So we'll taste the meatball with the bread. So if you want to um, eat your um, peanut butter and uh, 
whatever their jam is separately and pop this on the hamburger bun for a meatball sandwich, you can do it. It goes well together. It sort of gives a bit more structure to this. Although the meat gives, gives structure to this, the, of course it's um, spaghetti, it's very soft. It doesn't really give structure, but your uh, hamburger bun just gives a little bit of extra structure here. The, the, the taste very much similar to the South African um, pasta and um, spaghetti and meatballs. I do like your uh, ratio between the amount of spaghetti and meatballs you get. Here you can basically get a meatball almost with every bite. The South African stuff I've seen, a bit more spaghetti. The meatballs might be a bit larger, but you don't. You always end up with some spaghetti without the meatball. Here, it, I think the, the ratio between the two, you won't really end up with a lot of spaghetti and not any meatballs there. So, slight herby to get the tomato in this. The US stuff might be a bit more herby, I think. But this, I do like the taste of it. Um, it's a good uh, ratio of uh, components here. The only thing we've got left to do is our uh, the South African spork here because um, the other one is just uh, I'm not going to clean that one. So and this one is nice and large, so you can get out the peaches nicely. You can see the syrup peaches and nothing really spectacular about this. This is just peaches in a uh, syrup. Again, your set of peaches, their um, combination or ratio, you get a lot of peaches. Sometimes some of this stuff is a bit more syrup, but the syrup consistency, I think it's a nice thickness. It's not too thin. I don't know if you can hear that, but somebody is putting up a palisade fence. So I hope the grinding and stuff is not too loud. So, um... This is the nice peach flavor, the, the consistency of the peaches are still nice. This is a good little dessert, I think with the M&M's. It's a good meal. So I still have to do the uh, Tic Tacs and the uh, growing thing, but I will pop, uh, go and do it later and then just pop it in here. Right, I've reconfigured my system a bit. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, I don't have regular uh, regular stand, so let's open. Oh, where are we? So let's open this. You can see there. Now I don't have a regular stand. I have PVC pipes. In my case, elect uh, PVC two centimeter electrical pipes for my uh, camera or for my tripod or my support. Or my what do you call it? My tripod. I wanted actually 2.5 centimeter normal water pipe, but they didn't have it, and they also didn't have the fittings for it in our local hardware shop. Since I'm a very small town, you they have what they have. So, but the PVC piping so far worked nicely. So here we've got our little non-mint, and let's put it in the water and see what it does. And I really didn't fast forward that bit. It really grows that fast. Let's just turn it up around a bit. And there you can see how fast it actually grows. And very hot or oh, wet now. Ooh, I'm making a mess. Let's just move this out of the way. And this is a quite a lovely big towel thing. Uh, so this is a big, big towel thing. Quite nice. Really. Almost, it feels a lot like those um, ones you get in the packages. It's not uh, stretchy at all. It's what is it? 15, 20 centimeter by, is it 30, maybe 35, 40? Let's see. No, I think it might be... Oh, maybe 20 by, uh, 50, by 30 centimeters or something like that. 
20 by 30 maybe and it's a good it's a lovely strong cloth which you can use just sop up the extra water here then just as well clean my surface and I can't zoom out now because I'm I can't I can actually zoom out a bit maybe wait just all right I've zoomed out some so that we can better see this cloth you can see they're quite large not really that of course I've reconfigured this but you can see this is a really large thing and it's nice so let's drown you there again I thought it would take longer we actually have these uh, little I uh, one supermarket chain do this little garden thing and they has got sort of um, compact uh, dried out uh, soil where you put, put water on it and it grows, grows as well it reminded me of the cloth now the tic tacs just normal tic tacs and you get uh, one two three four tic tacs tastes like tic tac now let's see Oh, this looks like paper. I'm not, a really f I'm not a fan of these matches. Or these paper kind. I like wooden matches. Simply because I have a problem striking them. There we go, finally. It's not that it's a bad match. I just don't do well with these matches. So we've tested everything except the um, Tabasco, but Tabasco is Tabasco. So interesting, nice cloth. It really soaks up water quite nicely. So what did I think about the meal so far? Coffee a bit sweet for me, but that's just because I don't drink sugar in my coffee, but there's enough coffee taste there to balance it out. Peaches, nice and sweet, lovely dessert. The meatballs, nice uh, combination of meatballs and spaghetti. There isn't too much of the one and too little of the other. There's enough sauce as well, so that it won't be dry. You can do your meatball on your bun. It does give more structure to the dish. Although your meatballs is nice and firm still, your spaghetti is very soft. So for, but for, for the nice use of the hamburger bun, put on your uh, jam and your peanut butter there. It is great. It is not too dry on the bun and it's not too, your peanut or the one I had is not too runny as well. So. The consistency of the, the spreads are nice, it won't run all over the place, but it's not dry as it's not too dry in combination. So we've got our jerky. I have no problem chewing this. But then I have no problem with the Polish rusks either. So it doesn't say a lot. This is softer than the normal bultong I'm used to. And I like the teriyaki sweet taste in this. A good thing I think is that because it's so sticking together you won't lose pieces maybe I don't know but it's it's interesting and it does make your hands sticky. So M&M's just normal M&M's I'm not sure if your chocolate formulation differ from the ones we get and the US ones I have but I should, it might be the same. I ha really haven't had M&M's in a while so and that is everything I think we've tasted. We'll do the Tic Tacs just now and the little thing. I'll pop it in some way. So this was our, and I'm not going to do the hot sauce. You can if you want to. Everybody knows Tabasco sauce and if you like hot stuff it will go well with this. So this was our meal and I got this. What's the Spaghetti and Meatballs 2019, menu number 16. And I got this from Canadian Trucker. Where's my truck now? There it is, little truck. So really interesting meal. I really actually like this. 
I think it's a good balance of uh, textures, a good balance of food. The only thing I think if you have this uh, meal here in the summer, a problem that might be is your chocolate you get in it. For Canada it's mostly it's nice because it's not as hot as it's here, but here this chocolate will, will melt. But the rest of the stuff, quite nice. I actually like this, so good for Canada. And of course the fruit cocktail might not last as long here as well. But since it's Canada and it is not as hot as it gets here, it gets over 40 Celsius, 43, 44, whatever Celsius in the summer here. Canada doesn't get that hot, so this is a good meal for Canada. As I said in some of the other meals, you might not think some of the stuff you get in meals are weird or it doesn't fit or work. But remember this stuff is made for, a, most likely if you do international stuff, it's made for a different country with different uh, climate conditions. So I think this is a good meal for Canada, I think. Maybe you should have a hot chocolate or something if you've got a winter meal. I don't know if you've got winter menus, but since it's cold, you might want a hot chocolate or something. But this is quite nice. So thanks for watching. Please support the channel, please subscribe, please go donate on patreon.com and see you at my next ration review.